to Miss Becky Akana. Thank you very much. <clears throat> We would like to thank Pastor Herm and the members of First Baptist Church who have opened their doors to Duluth Cultural Center. Duluth Cultural Center with all of the instructors uh, will work with diligence to make this center a vital and integral part of the community. <coughs> 앞으로도 계속적인 관심과 이 교회와 우리 문화 센터를 위해서 기도해 주시고 성원해 주시기 바랍니다. We humbly ask for your continued support, love, and prayers. 감사합니다. 본 교회 담임 목사님이신 존경하는 마크한 목사님을 소개해 드리겠습니다. Please welcome. 여러분들과 my neighbor behind me is from India. My neighbor across the street from me is from Zimbabwe. There's a doctor down the street who's from South Africa. And I realize that uh, I live in one of the most diverse communities in all of America. And so we began to look at how can we as a church begin to cross cultures and become a genuinely multicultural church. As of today, there are members from 35 different nations that make up First Baptist Church. And we're so glad to have Dr. Choi as one of our members. Uh, a little less than a year ago now, I had the wonderful opportunity to meet her and to learn about her uh, ministry and her vision of ministry uh, in the Duluth community. And she shared with me, she says, I've started uh, culture centers and schools in a variety of churches, but never in an American church. She says, would you be interested in starting one here? And I, my heart leaped with joy. I said, what a great opportunity for us to meet the needs of our community and to be able to meet new friends and new neighbors for the Lordship of Jesus Christ. One of the most exciting things to me about this semester is that it has been a long time dream of our church to offer citizenship classes. And through the Duluth Culture Center, for the very first time, First Baptist Church will have citizenship classes in our facilities. Can you imagine how important that is to our community, and especially a church that's made up of 35 different nationalities, for people to know that this is a place where you can come, and you can learn, you can fellowship, and you can be at, even have citizenship classes to become a citizen. So it, it is a great honor to have Dr. Choi it is a great honor to host the Duluth Culture Center, and it's a great privilege to be your partner in ministry and in your task that's ahead of you. I bring you greetings in the wonderful name of the First Baptist Church of Duluth.
becoming a helper for the reason. Guiding the darkness, hearing the full of joy. With a heart to heart, holding hand in hand, the Duluth Cultural Center, be here forever in the blessing of God. Amen.
Georgia, the number of the Koreans uh, is reaching to almost 100,000 as of now, I think. And the ties and relationship between Korea and Georgia is, have been increased significantly in recent years. At this, time, at this point, uh, I'd like to say that uh, we need to think about our identity as a, a true U.S. citizen. We, when people say that we are Korean-American, so I don't like that, I'm Korean-American, so we just American, because we live in America. It means that we must, uh, we need to think about our identity as a citizen of the United States. Uh, uh, we must perform our duties before we assert our, our rights. Uh, uh, regarding, uh, regardless uh, whether we were born in Korea or America, so we are United citizens of the United States, uh, so actively vote and participate in jury, uh, jury service, uh, and especially paying taxes are uh, the ways we can carry out our duties uh, as a United citizens. I think that uh, another uh, obvious contribution uh, is uh, to uh, invest our time and our life for the future, in the future, uh, because we uh, we have to be become a valuable member of the United States. And also, we think of our Duluth and United County and Atlanta, Georgia. We think of the Duluth, especially Duluth, the city of Duluth, as our hometown. Uh, we, Many people ask me that, uh, where is your hometown? So uh, I answered that, uh, this Korea and some, somewhere else in Korea. But nowadays, I answer that my hometown is Duluth, in a county. I'm sure that is, there are many, uh, there are many great uh, problems in this Duluth culture. Duluth culture center is very, uh, Duluth culture center. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, such as a technical class, a computer class, and especially citizenship class. I would like to encourage you to invest your time uh, for your future, and especially city of Toulouse, because city of Toulouse is our hometown. So I know that uh, this Toulouse Cultural Center uh, has many great programs. Uh, and that uh, all of the, the, the teachers you know, the professional is, uh, are very professional and uh, very talented, you know, such as uh, Dr. Lee, who's the ways of Dr. Lee. And, uh, and I saw that uh, uh, another doctor and professors. So uh, eventually, uh, we have to invest our uh, life and time for this city of the roots and ourselves, and eventually uh, for this country, the United States. Uh, thank you.
Oh, 